What's up everybody, it's your boy Incredible Joe, back at it again with another video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the notification bell so you get the videos first. You can like first, you can comment first. Oh, everybody woke up this morning feeling good, feeling blessed, feeling motivated, feeling productive, you know what I'm saying? Willing to go out and chase your dreams and, and do no matter what no matter what it takes, you're going out there trying to reach your goals, man. Achieve what it is you said in, for, in front of you every single day. <clears throat> like I said to y'all before, what you do today is, is in preparation for the future. You're not worried about yesterday. And don't necessarily worry too much about the future, like I said, because God said, make do not make plans. Your plans are not his plans. So prepare for the future don't plan you know what i'm saying so work hard every single day in preparation for whatever comes for tomorrow but i guarantee you when you work hard and you work hard every single day what come tomorrow it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be something nice i'm gonna tell you that now but i have something i want to tell you guys man i said i wasn't gonna make this video i said i wasn't um but it can come as a motivation to some people so i'm gonna make it anyway um you know what ah <sighs> Man, it's kind of crazy because I've done it before, so I didn't really want to make the video again. Um, but this time, I'm pretty sure it's for good. I quit my job. Why did I quit my job? Um, I said my detailing business going on. I got the YouTube channel going on. Uh, I just got other stuff to do, right? So I'm in a space now to where I need more time to handle what I have going on. You know what I'm saying? I can't be focused on handling what I have going on helping somebody else build their dream so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you the full story as to what happened how it happened like i said i gotta get in the truck right now i got a detailing job <laughs> i'll be detailing cars all day today i ain't gonna lie to you i got a bunch of cars to do so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in this truck you know what i'm saying if i be late i'm gonna go out here and <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get this job done man but y'all stay tuned after this video all right y'all <clears throat> i'm back in the truck i just finished detailing so I forgot to turn the camera on while I was at the detail. It's supposed to be part of the video. Just kind of show you guys a little bit of my day and vlog a little bit, man. Slow down. I ain't trying to be just like this cat, man. It's my truck. I mean, money on this truck. But um, don't mind the stuff in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't mind that. But anyway, man, I want to talk to y'all real quick while I'm still stuck in this video of traffic. Um, I, like I said this morning, like I said when I started the video, I did quit my job. Why did I quit my job? When I was in Houston, I actually was self-employed for about eight months. Uh, I had my own fencing and pressure washing business. That's actually when I bought the car. I bought a car and I bought my duplex for uh, to rent it out, you know, rental property and stuff like that. Um, it's always just been in, in me to to hustle and get it on my own. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not for everybody, I will say it. You know, and my, the way my brain works is I feel like if I'm serious about something and I really want to do it, I should act on it within two weeks. If I haven't acted on it within two weeks, I'm not serious about it and I'm probably not gonna do it. So that's how I am. And the story behind it is, so I woke up, I was, I was, I had been feeling that way. Like when I get that feeling, I'm finna quit, you know what I'm saying? Do my own thing, it always happens. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've only done it like once or twice, but like it happens, you know what I'm saying? Um, hell, the only reason I'm not still self employed now is because I moved back to Atlanta when I was in Houston. Uh, if I was still in Houston, I would still be working for myself. I would have never got another job. But when I came to a different city, it wasn't like that. I had to, you know what I'm saying, scale it back and start off a little bit. But, like I said, when you, when, the way my brain works, when I have something going on, where I really want to do something, I'm tired of something, I'm going, I'm going to execute just like that. That's how I do stuff, whether it's the best time for it or not. Now, my way of thinking may not work the best for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It don't always work the best for me. You know what I'm saying? So, when I, when I tell you the story, don't take this and be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna quit my job too. I mean, unless you just really feel in your heart, you're straight or you, you're capable of, you know what I'm saying, keep it on, for to keep on, then do that. But if you don't feel like you can do it and you know what I'm saying, stay afloat and all that kind of stuff, then I wouldn't necessarily push for you to do that. That's just me, you know what I'm saying, being honest. Um, but like I said, I want to make this video to motivate people who do have a, a business idea, who have been working in the business and they're scared to quit. You can't be afraid to quit, man, because you could like you could die tomorrow, man. Like all kind of stuff happened. We just had a tornado touchdown and they didn't even detect it. They still can't. They still don't know where it came from. Stuff happens every single day. You know what I'm saying? You never. You don't. You don't know when that last day is. So the way I think about stuff is, why would I sit here and, and keep working for somebody else? When I know that's not even me, that's not what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's that's gonna get you enough money to get by. Job stands for just over broke. You know what I'm saying? 
And I believe that and there's nothing wrong with having a job, but that's not who I am, you know what I'm saying? Coming up, my pops, he was all he always, you know what I'm saying? He always had his own thing going. So seeing it, you know what I'm saying, and being raised in it is kinda like different for me. You know what I'm saying? I saw the amount of money he bought he brought in. So it's kinda like, well, I wanna do the same thing. And when I started doing it, you know what I'm saying? I bought the car, you know what I'm saying? I was 19 when I bought the duplex. And I had just turned 20 when I bought my scat pack. Um, so I, 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 I've been blessed to be in a position that I'm in. But like I say, when I quit, I quit like a week or so ago. I didn't, like I said, I wasn't gonna make the video. I was gonna keep doing my thing, but I was like, nah. Cause some people really want, to, some people really need that motivation to just take the extra step and just go ahead and go. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, so that's just, that's where I'm coming from. So when I was at, I was at work, man. I was at work that morning. I got to work. It was supposed to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning. I didn't get there till 9. One thing about me is when I feel like I'm finna quit, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm halfway gonna be working when I'm there because it's just not in me. You know what I'm saying? That's not me as a person. Cause when I put my mind on something, I'm gonna work hard. I'm gonna do that. Y'all see this on the, y'all see it on this camera. But I was two hours late. I got there at 9 o'clock. And he was like, man, um, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on time, man. Woo, 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 woo. One thing about me, man, I don't like that kind of stuff. Be here on time, man. All I got is time. Out of all the things that we have in the world, money, cars, clothes, house, whatever it is, your time is the most valuable thing you have. You know what I'm saying? Time spent with your family. Time, you know what I'm saying? Time to spend by yourself, get your head right. He's like, man, you gotta be here on time. Woo, 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 woo. You already paying me, you know what I'm saying? Six dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? You say I ain't working no more than 48. What is it six times eight 48 48 dollars a day you know what i'm saying plus tips you know what i'm saying so it's rough so i'm like all right whatever woo -woo. so I, I i brushed it off and i kept on working i was just like man i don't, I don't feel like it. i was on the phone with mom i called my mom i talked to my mom all throughout the day i'm like mom i, don't, I really want to be here like you know what i'm saying i think i'm gonna go ahead and quit and she was like well yeah but normally my mom be like joseph you need to do you know what i'm saying but she was like well go ahead and do what you do and I always talk to my mom, you know what I'm saying, my mom, you know what I'm saying, talk to my pops. And I, I kind of get guidance because I feel like God going to speak to you through those people, you know what I'm saying? God speaks to you through the people's, the people closer, the closest people to you. I think that way, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're not going to tell me wrong. Now, there has been times I went against what my mom said or went against my pops said, went against what both of them said, and it worked out for me, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I kind of look to them to get guidance, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a young dude. I've, I've, I've been blessed to do a lot, but I'm still a young dude, so mentally, I still do look at my parents for guys. And I feel like that's something I'm gonna do until, you know what I'm saying, I just can't do it anymore, you know what I'm saying? So God forbid, that's a long time from now. But, I told him, I'm gonna quit, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't about an hour later, he was, he was asking me, hey man, can you come in this day to do this? And I, yeah, because he got just called up. I was like, all right, yeah. And I had said, man, I thought about it. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm straight on this, so I had, I was like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got stuff going on. I got my channel going on. I got my own business. I'm trying to get off the ground. Do you know my business is not even like booming yet. I'm, I'm still building my business. That's how much faith I got in myself and God. I'm, I, I, I'm willing to take the leap of faith to jump off a cliff into a building business, not a booming business, a building business. And I did that, a building channel. It's not even a booming channel. I'm willing to do that to put time into myself and what I believe is on my, you know what I'm saying? help me get to the next level now whether it's smart or not i don't know it really ain't to be honest you know what i'm saying but i'm not living every day being cautious because you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be miserable you're gonna regret stuff live every day like it's your last you know what i'm saying and i feel like i'm up this gonna pay off whether you know what I'm saying? whatever comes from this if something whatever comes from this negative or positive it was supposed to be that way you know what i'm saying um you gotta look and this is you know a lot of articles and documentaries you know what I'm saying? i do a lot of research a lot of some of the most successful people in the world don't have the best credit in the world because they take so many risks you know what i'm saying uh you gotta get knowledge on what you're doing a lot of people think bankruptcy is bad not if you have money it's not if you have, if you have money bankruptcy is actually not a bad thing bankruptcy is just like a get out of jail free card and that's why you typically only see the wealthy file for bankruptcy you never, you never see broke folks file for bankruptcy because we can't buy nothing back Wealthy people file for bankruptcy and they just go buy stuff back next month. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta get knowledge on what you're doing so that you don't just jump into a blind. And I feel like I have enough knowledge to get into it and really just kind of be successful with what I'm doing. I grind every single day. I had ordered 
the business cards. In two days, I probably pass out 150. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, I'm passing out a business card. Every person I see, gas station, pass out a business card. Walmart, business card. I pass out business cards at red lights. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got I got an image to grind and work hard for what I believe in, for what I want. So I know that without that job, I'm be straight. I've done it before. You know what I'm saying? I was like I said, seven club for eight months. Bought a whole crowd up. I've done it before. I'm not doing no tripping. Whatever guy has in store for me, that's what it's gonna be, and that's what it is. Go out, and if you have, you know what I'm saying, if you're young, you stay at home, go out. If you have a business idea, and you feel like if you leave your job right now to make you help you make more money, do it. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Don't sit here and wait till you got X amount of bills, you know what I'm saying, and other responsibilities. Now you're sitting here making excuses. No, go ahead and do it. You will, Your life will not get any easier than what it is now. The more money you have, more problems you have. The more older, the old, not more older, the older you get, the more responsibility you have. Your life gets no easier. So if you have something that you have planned, you have a business idea that you have planned, do it today. You know what I'm saying? Start on today. You ain't got to quit your job today, but do it today. You know what I'm saying? The way my brain works, like I told you before, if I feel like I'm going to quit and make more money, you consider me gone. You can consider me gone. I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I got faith in God, so whatever it is to be, it's going to be that way. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always stress how appreciative I am of all of you for supporting me and what I got going on. Y'all, a lot of this is because of y'all. This time around, you know what I'm saying? Y'all make me comfortable knowing that my channels will keep growing because I, or I may at least get a lot of views, decent amount of views because y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all support me. You know what I'm saying? I very much appreciate this. So like I said, I ain't going to ramble. I ain't going to ramble too long. I just want to kind of get that out and let y'all know what was going on. What, what I have going on. This is a video I wanted to make, but I didn't want to make at the same time. Don't take this as me telling you to go quit your job and all that kind of stuff. Take this as me telling you to go out and pursue whatever it is you want to do today. Start today, not tomorrow, not the next day, because those days aren't promised. And don't worry about what happened yesterday, because that day is gone. Start today, man. Start brand new today. It's an incredible joke. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. This is like I said, wasn't action packed. I just want to give y'all some knowledge. But it's an incredible joke. I'll see you guys on the next one because I got some big news. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's, it's not it's bad news, but it's not bad news because it it can lead to good news. I don't know. Just stay tuned for the next video, man. But it's an incredible joke. I'll see you guys later on. I'm out of here. Peace.